Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to build an application that renders web pages. We're also going to see how we can navigate to and fro in the same web page. And then later in the video, we're also going to see how we can render our own local web pages in the same application. So stay tuned. Now, if you're new and want to get reliable programming tutorials, tools, and general advice on technology, get started by hitting the subscribe button. Also, remember to hit the notifications bell. This way, you'll be notified each time I make an upload on content like this. So let's just get straight to it. Navigate to your activity main.xml. Then change the root layout here to a very simple layout. I'm going to give it linear layout. And give it an orientation of vertical. Then I'm going to remove this text view. And instead, I'm going to place their web view. And I'm going to give it a nice ID that I can reference later. I'm going to give it my web view. Nicely done. So now we get back to your activity main. Then find the web view here by ID. My web view fine so let's load the url so this is the exact point we are going to place the url i'm going to start google.com then next i'm going to give my web view a client i'm going to set a web client Okay, fine. Now let's load in the settings. And I'm going to set to true. Now one thing we want to do is that we go back. Once a user opens a web page, we're able to go back to the previous web page. So to do that, just hit the keyboard shortcuts, Control plus O, and this will open this dialog. Then you can just search on back pressed. Then you just click on it and write the following. So if our web view can go back, then we struck it to go back. Otherwise, then we just want to close this application. So we are going to use this. You can just cut this and paste it here. So once this is done, then you can navigate to your project window and open your Android manifest file then just uh, insert the following permissions the, uh, the internet and then one more line that you're supposed to insert into your application tag is users clear text traffic and you set this to true so that is done so now you can just save the project and run it okay it's done installing Okay, fine. So, it's doing well. Let's see if it can go back. So, let me just open a random web page. Right, so let me try going back. Okay, so that works fine. Now, next, we are going to open or load custom web pages that we've done or local web pages that are running from our own servers uh, first of all to do this just make sure that your azam program is on just like mine then you can open your cmd window or the command prompt then once it opens just right there ip config and click enter so what we are looking for here is the ip version 4 address so you get this and you can highlight or copy You copy this and then you can close this window then you can just write a string variable here i'm going to call it base url 
and I'm going to include the following. Then I'm going to paste there the IP address. Then next we need the location of the file of which you want to start or to open. So for my case, just open the point where you install your ZAMP, your ZAMP program. For my case, it's under C, ZAMP, under HDDocs. Then you locate the exact point where you placed your file. So for my case, it's under Destiny, under Admin. Then I'm going to look for index.php. So this is my home page. So let me just close this. So I'm going to use the following path, Destiny, Admin, index.php so that's the exact file that i want to open so i'm going to pass uh, this url inside here okay looking good so i can just save this file and run it Okay, so that did it. So guys, uh, I'm glad that you, uh, you're you watching. And if you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, so remember to subscribe and also hit the notifications button so that you can be notified once I release videos like this. Otherwise, until next time.